This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I just want to quickly talk about the bugs in iOS 17. You see all these new videos going out on, you know, all the new features and that's cool and all, but I think we all know the basic new features of iOS 17, but let's talk about the bugs because a lot of you guys are considering putting this developer beta on your daily driver since it's now free. And unfortunately, there are some pretty big bugs that you guys are gonna wanna know about. So let's quickly talk about them. The first biggest one that I have is the disappearing keyboard. So if you're in a messaging app and you swipe down, you know, to like look at more text, Typically, your keyboard will disappear so you can scroll through text, you know, and find what you want. Unfortunately, sometimes the keyboard either doesn't reappear or the send button is gone or the text box where you type is completely gone. Now, this bug happens in iMessage, Telegram, a lot in Telegram, actually. Snapchat, it doesn't seem to affect. It does affect Facebook Messenger, unfortunately. So a lot of people are going to be impacted by that because I know a lot of you guys still use that for some reason. iMessage has seemed to be a compromise. So I've been using iMessage a lot more ever since iOS 17 just because of this bug. It is so bad. It's something you guys definitely want to know about. My fiance also got iOS 17 on her phone and I wanted to test and see if she has the same issues. She does. So that is something that's pretty much across the board. The next bug is the location bug. So if you open up an app like, let's say Waze, and then you kill the app, you completely kill the app after you're done using it, you will still see a little icon up here in your dynamic island with that location symbol. And that's super, super aggravating. I guess technically it's still using your location. Even though you completely killed the app, the only way to get rid of it is to reopen Waze and try to kill it again. Nine out of 10 times it doesn't work. So you have to reboot the phone. It's very frustrating and aggravating. So those are two bugs that definitely need to be reported to Apple through the feedback app. If you guys are experiencing them as well, go ahead and report those. So those are the two biggest ones that I've noticed. There's some other little ones like when you pull down and try to type here, sometimes it won't work. Or if you try to do certain things in other apps, specifically with the keyboard, that's where a lot of the bugs seem to be. Now, the third and final issue is battery life. So mine actually hasn't been that bad. I know some other YouTubers are complaining, but realistically, the battery is just bad. It's just bad for a beta, but it's not really doing anything out of the ordinary. Uh, I would go so far as to say it's actually a little bit better, uh, especially overnight than iOS 16 was for me, because I would have stuff all night, you know, showing. I know some people are reporting issues with the mail app. Mine has, I've not had that issue. I have probably eight different email accounts linked to my mail app. I have no issues with any of them with regards to battery drain. The only issue with those is I don't get the push notifications like at all, unless I open up the app. That part is aggravating, but the battery life, no issues. So I'm curious from you guys, what issues have you had with iOS 17? We should see a new beta coming out later this week. So probably Tuesday, possibly Wednesday, uh, we will see beta two of iOS 17 and we will see if Apple has fixed any of these. Stay tuned to the channel because I'm going to be doing a video going over all the new features in the second beta. And if we know Apple, they usually like to sprinkle in some more features as we go along. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Again, drop a comment down below about what bugs you're experiencing in iOS 17. I might even run a poll, so go to the community tab and check that out. That's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.